Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. First of all, I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. And one thing that I want to share with you is how thankful I am to have such wonderful viewers, and I particularly treasure all of the nice comments that you have made over the years. So I'm very, very thankful that you watch the show, and I hope you continue to do that. Because if you have been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is The Risk Factor. And that is because even though the, uh, Venus and Jupiter in Scorpio, a fixed financial sign, are trining Neptune in Pisces, and Neptune went direct today, and so that can mean that there can be more money coming your way to help you make a dream come true or to assure that justice and survival are, are going to be done. So that's all to the good. Even with those good aspects, there are some harsh squares among the mutable signs and the cardinal signs, and that's why there can be the element of risk in the air in the next week, and that is something that you should consider before you move too quickly forward. And that is because there is a um, square now, since Neptune is direct in Pisces, it is being squared by the Sun, which has just gone into uh, Sagittarius, and also by Mercury and Saturn, which are in Sagittarius. And that means it can be a little hard to know who to trust because Pisces rules things that are hidden or go on behind the scenes. And so this is a time when you have to be very careful because noble or high-minded people can be absolutely blindsided right now by others who are pretending to be victims but they are actually victims of their own choice and simply want to sort of live off the uh, bounty and the welfare or the hard work of others instead. And so that's why I'm saying it's a little hard to know who to trust or who to believe right now. And yet those three planets in Sagittarius, remember the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn, are all being tried by Uranus in Aries. And Uranus is a very swift moving planet of sudden surprising change. So there could be a surprising turn of events or some swift decisions or actions that can be taken very quickly. And that could more or less force an issue out into the open. And that may, might be the only way to really resolve it. So that is a little bit of a risk but it also could clarify a situation as well and then solve problems. So you have that to consider right now. Not only do you not know who to trust, but should you take action or should you not? Uh, you'll have to think that over. And so that is something that uh, you're going to have to sort of weigh the pros and cons about. There is a far harsher uh, aspect and that is a T-cross that is going on among cardinal signs right now. And so Mars in uh, Libra, which rules the law, is now in a very close opposition to Uranus in Aries. And Uranus, or Aries is the sign of new beginnings. But these two planets are also being squared by the Moon and Pluto today, both of them. So that can indicate that uh, people can be really sort of uh, involved with disputes, all kinds of disputes. So what could the harsh aspects mean in this configuration? They could mean the uh, abrupt collapse, complete collapse of some new beginning. And that may be due to a lack of funding, or it may be due to changes in management, or changes in policies and in budgets. That could affect a lot of people or it can be due to infighting or legal disputes. So if all of those things are going on, then I think sooner or later, under these harsh configurations, there can be some people in positions of authority that can agree that maybe now is the time to make some tough decisions. And if that's true, then perhaps they are going to make those tough decisions based solely 
on the proof of performance or on the lack of it. And so I hope you've been doing everything you're supposed to be doing right now because if anybody's looking, there could be a somewhat unpleasant outcome or even the collapse of some new beginning if people have not been living up to expectations right now. So that is a risk factor that we all have to consider. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, this is a time when you do have to be really careful because Mars is directly opposing Uranus in your sign right now, and both planets are known as malefic planets. Uranus is, it can cause trouble because it's so abrupt and sudden, and it does rule rebellion and freedom, and Mars can cause problems when it is in Libra because that's a sign ruled by Venus, so it can stir people up who are normally happy partners, or it can bring lawsuits to the fore, and Mars is opposing your sign Aries, which it rules. That's not a good aspect, and then the Moon and Pluto are also squaring your sun sign today, and so it, it simply means that there can be a lot of pressure on you right now, either due to budget cuts or changes in management or some sort of infighting or some sort of threat of a legal dispute or some sort of dissension among in a partnership. So you have all of those things to watch out for, and if you don't like what you're doing or looking at right now or what you're involved in, then there is the possibility you could suddenly go in a new direction, and that can be in a direction that is taken by people who want swift action. And that is because the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn are all trining your Sun sign Aries. So if you wanted to take a long trip or you wanted to um, get out of one situation by rebelling against it, I think that you could, and you could succeed at that. Now, what goes up must come down. You may not exactly know where you're going to end up, and I advise you, since this show is titled The Risk Factor, to consider the risk of anything that you initiate right now, Aries, before you do it. Ask yourself where, where you're going to land before you take off. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, the only planets that are in a fixed sign are Venus, your own ruler, and Jupiter in Scorpio, and they're both opposing your sun sign. But the Moon and Pluto are trining your sun sign, and that simply means, Taurus, that you can your long-term interests can be looking really well right now and positive. And in fact, you might be looking at the possibility of a promotion or a better job or something that involves uh, better investments, a higher return on your investments, and that can assure long-term security. So actually, I think your career is looking pretty good right now, Taurus. But at the same time, with Venus and Jupiter and Scorpio opposing your sun sign, I think it really means that there can be money coming to a lot of people, and it could be that the money's coming from you and perhaps going to your loved ones. You could uh, decide to splurge on an investment or to be very extravagant this Christmas. I think everyone's in the mood for that. So even the opposition of these two good planets is not so bad for you, Taurus. But it does mean that the money can be going out maybe a little quicker than it's coming in. OK, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, this is a time when I think you do have some things to worry about. And that is because yours is a mutable sign. and. Uh, Neptune in Pisces is squaring your sun, and the sun, Mercury, your own ruler, and Saturn in Sagittarius are all opposing your sun sign. That in particular, well, first of all, with Neptune squaring your sun sign, it means you don't know who to trust, and you could be hearing a lot of opinions based on deceitful lies rather than the truth, so you should watch out and check your facts, Gemini. And also, the three planets in Sagittarius that are opposing your sun simply mean that people can be throwing everything at you that it could possibly knock you down or out of contention for something. They could really be trying to make your life a little miserable right now. And so, you know, you have that to contend with, Gemini. And even though Mars in Libra is trining your sun, meaning that you can know people who can really want to um, assert the law on your behalf or in your favor, 
still, you know, there is a risk involved in, um, in, in jumping into something, even something like a lawsuit, because you don't really know how it's going to end up. And you should be a little bit more careful about your reaction to things right now, Gemini. So no matter what people are throwing at you, be really, really careful about what you're throwing back at them. Because it, it could be unnecessary. Maybe you don't need to respond to anybody else right now. In fact, it would be a better idea if you didn't. And that's because their energy is going to burn out after a while. And if you don't respond, you, you won't tire yourself out or involve yourself in petty concerns. So try to, try to stay as calm as you can over this holiday. OK, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, Venus and Jupiter and Scorpio are trining your sun beautifully. So there's money coming your way. And Neptune, which is, just went direct today in Pisces, is also trining your sun. So that's wonderful, Cancer. And that simply means that this can be, uh, that, that money can be coming your way to make a dream come true. And it's positive. There could also be more than you think is coming your way. And so that would be wonderful. But at the same time, there is a very harsh T-square among cardinal signs, and yours is a cardinal sign. So Mars in Libra is squaring your sun, Uranus in Aries is squaring your sun, and today the moon, your own ruler, and Pluto in Capricorn are opposing your sun sign. And so that means that there can be some decisions made at a fairly high level that can be rather tough decisions, and they would be based solely on proof of performance or on the lack of it. And you would have to accept whatever the outcome is of that cancer. And it may not reflect well on either you or an organization that you're involved with. But that doesn't, so there may be some changes coming for you, cancer. But at the same time, you, the money's really coming in, and you can make a dream come true. So I hope you just enjoy your family over this holiday weekend and concentrate on the, on on the positive things that you've got going in your life. And one of them is financial. Congratulations. OK, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, you for sure have to be careful not to overindulge right now. And that is because Venus and Jupiter in Scorpio are squaring your sun sign right now. And that could make you want to be a little bit too extravagant. Or since it's Thanksgiving, you could just overindulge uh, on your Turkey Day feast right now. So you have to watch your health a little bit as well, Leo. But there are three planets in Sagittarius, the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn trining your sun and a fourth planet in a fire sign, Uranus and Aries trining your sun. So if there are some sudden changes that can force an issue out into the open and maybe help get it resolved, you may benefit from that, Leo. And also, there is the possibility you can be hearing some long delayed news from a distance. And that could be something that you've been wanting to hear about for quite a long while. So there, there is that possibility. And it could be some rather solid news, but also very serious news that may involve a sacrifice or some sort of commitment as well. OK, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time when you really don't know who to trust. And the reason why is that Neptune, which has gone direct today in Pisces, is, square, or is opposing your sun. And uh, Mercury, the sun, and Saturn in Sagittarius are squaring your sun. And so there can be people that are trying their hardest to drag you down to their level, Virgo. And you must not respond to that. They're on their last legs. You're not. And that is because today, the moon and Pluto are trining your sun. And that means that people in upper management, and it could be very high up in management, really like your style, Virgo. And it can be that they will want you to take on additional responsibility after the first of the year, which you have really earned. And also, that could involve an increase in money, since Venus and Jupiter and Scorpio are sextiling your sun. So don't respond to the people that want to drag you down. Just concentrate on a better future with people who are higher up, because they like you. OK, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, Mars is in your sign right now. And it is moving into a harsh opposition with Uranus in Aries. And then the Moon and Pluto today are also squaring Mars in your sign. 
you could be very stirred up about something, Libra, and it could be an injustice, or it could involve some sort of infighting, or something that is that other people are doing that is actually illegal, and it could involve something financial, and so it could be fraud or taking money under false pretenses, something like that. And you know you're right about something, Libra, but I caution you to consider the risk factor in coming up against people who are actually very unstable. And if you do come up against them right now, no matter how right you are, there could be a surprising negative turn to that that could affect you, Libra. And it, you know, you don't, I don't think you should risk it. If there is something that you're really angry about right now and you know it's wrong, I'm still advising you to consider the outcome of your actions and perhaps I would say this is not the right time for you to express the things that you're really right about. But this is not the time to say anything or even do anything, Libra, because there are no planets in the other air signs. There's nothing backing your sign up right now. And that is why, you know, you might be upset and angry about something, but I would say let it ride right now, Libra, and sort of keep it to yourself. Because actually, you would you'd be risking an unknown adverse reaction if you expressed yourself now. And I don't think you should take that risk. You might lose more than you gain, so don't do it. OK, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, Venus and Jupiter are in your sun sign, and they're being trained beautifully by Neptune and Pisces, which went direct today. So there certainly can be more money coming your way, and it would help you make a dream come true. And so that's a very positive thing. But right ahead of your sun sign are the, are the sun, Mercury, and Saturn in Sagittarius, and they are being squared by that Neptune in Pisces. So uh, in one aspect, which is very favorable, you can be looking at more money to help you with something that you've got your heart set on. But in another aspect, since Neptune is squaring all the planets in Sagittarius, which is right in front of you, that this is a time when you have to be a little bit more quiet than usual, particularly about your financial good fortune. And that's because there are other people around who are pretending to be victims. They're actually victims of their own choosing so that they can ride piggyback on other people's uh, good efforts and on and they could want to live off the welfare of others and so that's why you need to be really quiet and sort of look like nothing has changed in your life when actually I think your financial fortunes have improved or they soon will do that but you need to keep that a secret right now Scorpio okay what does it mean to a Sagittarian well Sagittarius this is a time when you really don't know who to trust because Neptune in Pisces is so strong right now, it went direct today, and it is squaring the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn in your own sign. And so you really, it would pay you to doubt whatever people are saying right now. There's nothing wrong with doubting something or checking twice about the facts or opinions that you're hearing right now or reading the fine print before you sign anything. There's nothing wrong with that, Sagittarius, because on the other hand, you may be wanting to move very quickly. Uranus and Aries is trining the three planets in your sun sign. So you could want to be swept up in some new endeavor, but if you act too fast, that's a risk. And that is because it could catapult you into a position that is not quite as secure as the one you're in now. And you could be longing for change, but you really need to watch your step before you make a step right now, Sagittarius, and try your hardest to really weigh the facts and try to balance things out instead. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is a time when you really do need to be careful because you can be feeling powerful and you can be feeling like you've got all the right answers and you probably do, Capricorn, because the moon and Pluto are in your sign reinforcing some deep truth that you are certainly ready to face. But Mars and Libra is squaring your sun. Uranus and Aries is squaring your sun as well. So they're squaring the moon and Pluto in your sign. And that simply means that you might be tempted to 
step in to some sort of controversy or infighting or legal problem that or legal dispute that because you know you're right, you would feel as if you have nothing to lose or nothing to fear. But you do. And that is because these two planets are malefic planets, Mars and Uranus, and they are both squaring your sun sign. And that simply means since there are no planets in the other Earth signs that you're a little bit on your own right now, Capricorn, and I would not risk being around angry people or rebellious or volatile people right now or situations or organizations. So if you're thinking of taking a first uh, a jump into something right now, I would say the timing is off. It doesn't mean you're wrong, Capricorn. It just means now is not the time right now. And that is because of risk factors that are beyond your control. You can't do anything about what other people are going to do. And therefore, maybe you better not risk anything right now. Just hold off. OK, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, Mars in Libra is trining your sun, but it is so sorely aspected right now by a harsh T-cross in cardinal signs that it is, can't be much help to you. And for that reason, you too need to be careful and for two reasons, really. One of them is that, is that Venus and Jupiter in Scorpio are squaring your sun. So you, just like Leo, could be a little bit overindulgent or too extravagant right now. I bet you're eating too much turkey this Thanksgiving, Aquarius. And also, your ruler, Uranus, is under severe duress right now. It is in a direct opposition to Mars in Libra. So there is always the possibility of some illegal dispute that could come up or some tension in a partnership that could erupt out of nowhere. And that's why you need to be calm, cool, and collected over this holiday weekend, Aquarius. Don't stir the pot because you could be stirring up more trouble than it's worth. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, Neptune just went direct in your sign today, and that makes it even stronger. So you may be able to get some answers to things that had been a little foggy, or had maybe you weren't quite able to make up your mind about something, or you could have been misled either by others or by information that was false information. And now is a time when you can sort of straighten all of that out, which is great. And Venus and Jupiter in Scorpio are trining your sun, which means there can be some more money coming your way. Or else you could decide to be very benevolent to others and share your good fortune with others, which would be nice as well. That could be emotionally satisfying to you. But the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn are in Sagittarius are harshly squaring your Sun sign. And that simply means that there has to be a, a matter straightened out. And if you're not willing to straighten out a matter with others who are in authority, they're going to do it. And the way they're going to do it is they're going to decide to look at only the proof of some performance. It might be the proof of your performance, Pisces, or the lack of your performance, one or the other. And then they'll make a tough decision based on that information. So I hope you've been doing everything right right now, Pisces, because then you wouldn't have anything to worry about. But if you have been letting things slide a little bit, uh, you may have to pay for that pretty soon. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see our website and uh, you can see the show on our website and listen to our podcast at starborninstitute.org. Bye.